Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install the Super Nintendo emulator and how to get games for it in order to play it, of course, on your Android device. Okay, what you're going to do first is you're going to go to the Play Store. You're going to go up to this magnifying glass here. You're going to type in SNES emulator, which would be SNES space emulator, E M U L A T O R. It'll pop up underneath. Just click on that for me. Now you'll come up with a few options here. Click on the one that says Super G N E S Lite. That is the free version. Okay, now I already have mine installed, so I'm not going to uninstall it, but all you do is you hit uh, download or install, and then once it's done, hit open. And you'll see this. You won't see these yet but you will in a little bit okay you have your save files over here your favorites got the SD card indication you have your settings so you can adjust the screen size portrait whatnot you know you can mess around with these things the controller settings okay sheesh the hell okay <laughs> trying to do this while looking through a camera is very hard okay then you're going to want to go to your web browser go to google.com and type in the search bar SNES ROMs so that would be S N E S space R O M S SNES ROMs now the first link will say uh, it'll be Super Nintendo SNES ROMs coolrom.com hit that for coolrom.com and let that load <clears throat> okay after that's loaded give it a second because it's a little bit of a you like a it's pretty intense loading you see that little joystick right there that's red you're gonna want to hit that Okay, now what this is going to do, when you hit that little red joystick right there, it's going to come up with all the systems that are available. You're going to want to scroll down to Super Nintendo. It's at the very bottom. Hit Super Nintendo. Now, you're going to see this, Super Nintendo ROMs. Look right underneath, and here's the games. Okay, I'm going to download a new game today, just so uh, I can give you a you know a good example. Um, let's see, something decent. Super Mario RPG. That's a pretty good game. Really hard though. Okay. Once you click on the game that you want it's going to load again and it's going to uh, tell you the title of the game you want to scroll down keep scrolling keep on scrolling until you see that button that says download now you hit that and as you can see the game is downloading most games are compatible with this emulator I haven't run into one that isn't and now when the game's done you can just hit clear you don't have to do anything else you just go back to your main menu open up your app window let me add uh, the emulator back into the menu because I took it off so I didn't have to look at it <laughs> I kinda short key everything uh, let's see here where is that sucker 
Ah, here we are. There we go. I wasn't pressed. That's what it'll look like. You can click on that. It'll start up. And then... Okay. Now, notice that... Okay. Okay, uh, you're going to want to click the SD card icon and then hit scan for games. Hit OK. And it should find the new game that I just put on here. If it doesn't, then I'm going to look like an idiot. But uh, let's hope it does. <laughs> Validating. Okay, oh, there we are. So you see, whenever you download a game or a, or even a new game, you hit the SD card icon at the top here, and it'll say scan for games. You hit OK. It'll also download cover art. That's your choice. Now, here's Super Mario RPG. You simply click on it, and here we are. I think they make you watch a really long cutscene. So yeah, I'm not going to show me playing the game. But here's my phone updated. In case if anybody is curious about what I have as of late. I changed the bottom to tablet style so when you flip it it looks like that. And that's about it folks. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know about this phone or anything else related to Android-wise. See you.